Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, t and welcome back to the demonstration video this will be the third one and today we'll be discussing color and how you can use the color filters or adjusters in Adobe Premiere to give your video uh, a different aesthetic or style with things like you can make it all gray or you can just bring up the brightness or lower it and you can do a lot with the color in Adobe Premiere and it's actually really cool and the first thing I'm going to be doing uh, in my video is I'm going to take my clips and I'm going to drag it onto the field uh, as so uh, and then I'm going to go up to the color option uh, at the top near editing and what you'll see there uh, after I do that is I'm going to hit the Lumetri scope and now you'll see uh, the color options on the right. Now this right here helps for things like color grading. Now color grading and color correction are very different. Um, with color grading, it helps you give the aesthetic to the video. Um, as in color correction, it's just kind of making the video seem normal, I guess, or it's uh, making it see it in the correct way uh, for the human eye. Uh, those are where the two differ and with color grading you can do things like uh, make the video brighter or, or warmer, make the video uh, colder or softer. Um, color grading really does just help for the aesthetic as for color correction just helping to make things seem I guess normal. Now uh, I will say that using the eye monitor isn't always the best. Um, the eye can play tricks on you and uh, you won't always really it, well, how the monitor is showing you how the video looks and and how the video would actually look while you're adjusting the color and that's why you have two things to help you uh, see how the color is being adjusted and that is with things like to your right or things to the left uh, my apologies uh, like the wave monitor and the vector scope now uh, as you'll see uh, when I get to it the wave monitor which is on your left, uh, that shows you uh, your greens, blues, and reds, um, your RGBs. And uh, when you adjust the video, you can see how everything would move, everything would change. Uh, so as I'm adjusting the video now, uh, you see uh, as I make it softer, the reds go down. But as I make it brighter, the greens and the blues go down as, as the reds go up. So with that, you can see how I am adjusting the video essentially and it helps my eye or not really get tricked by itself and I can actually see what I'm doing and now you have things like the vector scope and now to get the vector scope you want to go down to the wrench and you want to hit uh, either one of the vector scopes now there are two there's the vector scope YUV or the other one and um, the HS HLS now the HLS uh, doesn't really have anything uh, to really show you which way uh, your color is going but the YUV does and for the sake of the video I'll be using the YUV and as you can see as I am making my image softer or making my image uh, brighter um, the uh, vector scope uh, moves towards uh, which way it's going so you can really see uh, how you're affecting your video. Now the first thing that we're going to be working with is the skyline and what I'll be doing is I'll be going over to the temperature and I'll be adjusting it. As you saw when I played it through, um, wasn't really anything, it was a little too bright, so a little too dark. So what I'll be doing is I'll be going over as you see and I'm moving the temperature up. And what that does is it's going to take the light and it's just going to make it brighter when it gets to nighttime. Um, and it even makes the sky kind of brighter. As opposed to, say, if I went down the temperature and made it blue, uh, the lights don't really reflect and it doesn't really give it the nighttime kind of feel. Uh, yes, there's still lights and it's blue and that's kind of cool, but not as cool as it would be as like the night city just lit up. So I'll take my uh, marker and go all the way up, not all the way up to 100 because you know you don't have to do that but I'm going to go up in temperature and just to help make things brighter and make things feel more lively in a city aspect. 
So the next thing that we're going to be doing is working with color wheels for the color work number three. Now, you go down, you go to your right side and go down to color wheels and match. You'll be greeted with these three uh, things. Uh, now, what color wheels do is it's kind of the same thing that you get with your basic correction or your curves. Um, it lets you well, more basic correction than curves really, but it lets you uh, focus on things like highlights and the the temperature and things within the midtones. I like shadows, things within that line to make the video uh, kind of stand out as much as you want. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this video uh, that's really blue, uh, and you don't really need it to be this blue. I'm going to take this and I am going to uh, try to make it seem less blue, just more um, like more like regular day or real day. But uh, first, real quick, let me uh, pull up my lunar scope again. But um, yeah. So the what I, what I might do is I might um, I said the midtones a bit. Uh, bring it up near. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it like a, a golden color and as you see with uh, the mid sound and with everything as I am moving it everything shifts on the lunar scope so everything on the vector scope and on the, the waves they're shifting with uh, how I'm affecting this so I'm going to bring this up and kind of make it more gold and as you can see as I'm messing with the mid tones the image is changing so then the highlights so I'll maybe chop it down to a little bit of blue, uh, just to you know keep some of the blue in there. And the shadows, I may uh, I may bring up to red, and now the the video looks less blue and a little a little bit more normal, uh, as you can see. And you know, or maybe I think I think I'll switch the shadows with the the midtones. Now, I think in the midtones is is uh, more red, and you you can really just do. Um, whatever you want with these color wheels and uh, expand it however you want just to try to it's, an, it's just another good way to try to fix the video that you have or fix the clip that you have to make it um seem a bit a bit more realistic or uh, match the scene prior for the next clip we'll actually be working with a effect uh, this effect essentially is just going to take everything in this, uh, or it's going to let me select the color in this uh, clip, and after I select the color, it's going to turn everything in the background gray, and or uh, black and white. Um, so what this effect is called, uh, give me a quick second. <laughs> what this effect is called is a uh, leaf color. So um, how you get to this is uh, you go over to the arrows, uh, go to your effects, and instead of going to any of these, you're going to go to the luminary present. So let me click on it. And actually, that's, I'm wrong, actually. That's my fault. Uh, don't go to luminary present. You, you will actually go to video effects. That's my uh, fault. And you'll go to color correction. Now, when you go to color correction, uh, you'll see a lot of different things like brightness, contrast, change color, uh, channel mixture, um, change to color, equalizer. But the one you want to click is the leaf color. So you're going to grab your effect and drag it over. After that, uh, go to the effects controls. And you're going to want to go down to um, the, where, where the color is, where, where it says leave the color underneath uh, amount to decolor and you're going to want to click the button next to uh, the color block and you're going to want to go to your video and click on where you where you want it so I'm going to I'm going to click uh, where the most color is I'm going to click the yellow on the flower so I'll, I'll click about right there and after that I'm going to go over to the amount to decolor and I'm going to put that at 100 now as you can see Everything except for the bright yellow that I selected is now gray, and maybe you know I I want some more tolerance, so I'll put it at I'll say 25, 
24% tolerance. Now, most of the flour, uh, because of the tolerance, is now wet. And everything else in here, as you can see, is grayed out. Um, that's really what um, leave color does. It, it can take something within your scene and really highlight it or make it seem more important. Because, you know, if you're looking at something that's completely in black and white, I'll use WandaVision as an example. Because uh, they did this. It's, it's, when you when you look at something that's black and white, uh, like they did in the early episodes, and then you see that red, it's off-putting. It's disturbing, and it, it it means something isn't right or something is important. That's why this red is in here. That's why this color is in here. And that's what something like this effect can really do. Okay, so the last thing that we'll be doing is we'll be working with the lunar uh, effects or the school scroll free the lumetry pre presets um so for that we'll be using the dialog pond uh screen's not that big uh with the clip but that's okay uh, we can still do a lot with it so with uh, the lumetry uh preset it gives you the it gives you different lenses kind of for the film stock so um, as you see, um, if I can move over, um, we have like different kind of uh, lenses and different kind of, uh, how would I put this, different, <laughs> different kind of just looks to uh, what you want to have on there. So I can do this one and now uh, the colors are more or a lot more warmer and I'll compact or uh, like command Z. I can do the two strip and doesn't really do that much. It's not that much of a noticeable difference. But you, you see what I'm saying is uh, there's a lot more you can do. And it's not just with uh, this one. There's a bunch of them uh, that you can use. There's, there's uh, different film stock. Uh, there's there's so much with just the lumetry preset that um, you can use to really enhance the look of your video. You can even put everything in black and white. Uh, if you feel like it, or uh, monochrome, it, 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 there's so many different monochromes, just so many different everything, and then the best part is, say you have an adjustment layer, you can just keep stacking and stacking on top of them, and you really get the certain feel or dynamic, this look, get kind of get that signature look of your, your video that you really want on there. And that's the beauty of the Lumetry preset is that you you really get what you you really get a, how you want your video to look uh, when you do it. Uh, so if I go to Lumetry scope uh, and say I want to add this one, and you, you see it, the Lumetry scope and the, the the vector scope and the waves they they act accordingly to the video. So uh, as you see, it, it really does give a certain feel on it. It also messes with the colors. And that's that's generally the best part of the Lumetri preset. Uh, so once you do that, so I'll, I'll add this one. Uh, once you do that, uh, you're, you're going to want to, and say since we're working with two different sequences, you're going to want to put them together. So uh, the way you'll do that, so all your sequences are together, you'll click one and make sure you have the other one you want in there. And all you have to do is right click and go up to nest. And that's going to uh, ask you uh, to, to create the name of the sequence or the nested sequence. So I'll just stick with nested sequence number two. And now they're both together uh, as one. And uh, what you can do is, uh, uh, as you see, uh, since they're nested, um, uh, none of their uh, together you can just go up and uh, essentially you can just export it so you'll go to export media and do what you have to do uh, thank you for watching uh, my name is Greg Shannon and I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this uh, thank you and have a good day